three pointer. Bang! It's a curry. Way down top. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! This past Lakers season seemed to go on forever. It was honestly a roller coaster of emotion for Lakers fans. Going back to the beginning, the idea of bringing back Russ began a back and forth with fans and the front office. Their plan seemed illogical and was only made worse by the two and ten start to the season. But then, new coach Donald Ham decided to shake this up. He got Russ to buy into coming off the bench, leading to a complete new Westbrook coming out. We saw him sinking threes and getting the team hyped up. Players like Lonnie Walker and Austin Reeves also started looking at real prices for a team, pulling out the best seasons of their career and keeping things entertaining for us fans. An aspect of the season that doesn't get talked about enough is the injuries to Thomas Bryant and Dennis Shooter. Their return was a huge lift for the team. They were real game changers, pulling out big wins throughout the year. But for something good, there always seemed to be a bad. In this case, it was Patrick Beverly. Many of us were stoked to have the veteran join the team. But man, it was real rough for Pat and the shooting numbers were horrible. A disappointing part of the season was that AD and LeBron kept getting injured one after the other, leaving just one to carry the team by itself. This created many three or even four guard lineups and a 30-year-old LeBron piling on minutes. This fortunately did lead to one of the most dominant ADs we've ever seen. His defense and offense was on full display, outplaying Giannis in one game and then dropping 55 points on the Wizards the next game. After a few games, though, AD got injured and things seemed to be at an all-time worst. Westbrook especially. His hot start was quickly declining, making Lakers fans miserable. And then, out of nowhere, the Lakers traded Kendrick Nunn for Rui Hachimura, and things started to look up again. Sally, this didn't last too long. It was to the point where the only thing the team was looking forward to was LeBron breaking the all-time scoring record. Started from his birthday, Brown was on a mission, and he looked unstoppable. Although LeBron was able to achieve the incredible honor, fans couldn't help but feel bittersweet after the Lakers dropped the game to the OKC Thunder. At this point in time, no one was sure what was going to happen and if Russ would stay or go. Lakers fans were ready to lose all hope. But then the trade deadline came and the Lakers made some moves. They traded Westbrook, Juan Toscano Anderson, and Damian Jones for D'Lo, Malik Beasley, and Jared Vanderbilt. They also swapped Patrick Beverly for Mo Bamba. After this, the Lakers really started to click and it was over from then. They rose from the 13th seed all the way to the 7th, winning must win after must win. They charged into the playoffs, taking down the Timberwolves in the play-in and then they faced the Memphis Grizzlies in the first round. Sure, they had their moments, but the Lakers ran them over, sending Dylan Brooks packing to Cancun. They came the Warriors, the series that me and Allen personally were really excited for because of the LeBron and Curry matchup. And thanks to help from Shooter and Lonnie Walker, we were able to beat them in six games. But man, unfortunately, their luck ran out against the Nuggets. Despite LeBron going all out in game four, they got swept. It was tough seeing the team's weaknesses getting exposed, especially by the Nuggets. But at the end of the day, they were the better team. A lot of people were questioning D'Lo and doubting AD's potential as a number one option. Although all fair criticism, sometimes we have to look back and appreciate all the good instead of focusing on the bad. Man, this season didn't end in a championship, but it was definitely one to remember. In the face of setbacks, the team found strength and unity. Through the mess, they found who they really are. It was a year of growing, a year of battling, and a year of never giving up. And it reminded us why we love the Lakers. If you enjoyed this type of video, please like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts. Yes, sir. Peace out. <laughs>